7.35 on a Friday. I want to welcome to our microphones half of the Mountain Hill Public School System. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Jake Long is here. Dr. Long, I'm going to let you take the microphone and introduce everybody. You bet. Uh, I brought along some friends today. Um, got Mitch Husky here, the athletic director for Mountain Home Public Schools. And then we have uh, two uh, special guests also, um, two senior students, Lauren Bohannon and Jonah White. And uh, going to talk about a variety of activities that are happening today, um, both academically and athletically, and uh, it's just an exciting time to be a bomber right now. Especially tonight, we're going to beat Harrison. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. We're right. uh, going to beat Harrison. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> Coach is smiling over here. <laughs> no, there's no doubt. Uh, th- these boys worked hard, and we're fired up and ready to get the season kicked off. It's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. Well, Dr. Long, uh, where do you want to start? We'll start with uh, the um, the students talking about uh, the Academy kickoff that's happening today. And so uh, why don't you tell kind of our listeners about what the Academy kickoff is and um, what the intent is, and you can talk about our academies also there at the high school. Go ahead and just pull the microphone up. Just It's okay. Yeah, sure. Yeah. <laughs> pull it up a little bit. Well, well uh, today go. is a very special day. We're going to be celebrating Academy kickoff day today. And basically what that is is we take the sophomores and, you know, all the other students and we explain the academies and their projects for the year. And also we have a lot of fun activities. Uh, yeah, we have a nationally recognized program at the high school. Uh, but sometimes it's, sorry, <laughs> uh, sometimes it's a little difficult for uh, us to be able to tell our own students uh, and our own peers exactly how, um, how good we have it at the high school. Um, so kickoff day is a good way to explain exactly the integrated projects we're going to be doing, um, how we're going to interact with the community, introducing the teachers, and usually having some fairly healthy competition. Oh yeah, <laughs> there's there's some fun there's some fun games that you know the academies play, you know, trying to beat each other. Now, yeah. for those that don't know, folks that are not involved with high school, what exactly are the academies? The academies are sections within the school that um, any student can be a part of, and it's based on one of three things: uh, the career they may want to go into. Uh, their learning style, whether um, it's auditory or visual, kinesthetic, um, or even their personality and the kids that they really get along with. Um, but there are some students that seem to stick out a lot in their academies, uh, but they're there for a reason. Uh, and it's like a, they're sort of like big families, but it's really great for productivity and getting kids ready for post-secondary school. Age. Yeah. So when you go to the high school, you pick an academy, and there's, you know, there's three. There's CAB, HHS, and ACME. Wait, why don't you talk about what those mean? Yeah. <laughs> So CAB means communication and business, or communication and arts and business. Uh, ACME is <laughs> agriculture, construction, mechanics, and engineering. Yeah, and HHS is health and human services. Absolutely. Wow. So you, you got three directions. You have three directions in which students, when they come, and it's even embedded into our junior high also, um, you have directions where students can start choosing, um, you know, which where they're going to go career-wise. And so... Um, <clears throat> I haven't been a part of the academy kickoff, but I, I've seen the excitement in the in the kids, and also in uh, Miss Brown and some of the staff members over there. And so, uh, it should be an exciting day. You have a modified schedule today, correct? Indeed. Yes. So, talk about the modified schedule, and uh, and then it bring it comes together for a kind of accumulating event mm-hmm. at Dunbar, and then even a pep rally, right? Yes. yes. So we're gonna have a short short uh, classes today leading up to a big event in Dunbar where all the academies are going to sort of tell everyone what their projects are for the year. Then we're going to have a few competition in, competitions and games and stuff for all the different academies. Then after that, there's going to be a huge pep rally uh, where we're going to tell everyone we're going to beat Harrison tonight. So. Yep, we're going to celebrate the game. We're going to introduce our football team, hopefully get the band playing and the cheerleaders out there, and it'll be a good time. So I know that Lauren, you're in the band, and yes, sir. Um, and even Jonah, um, I've got to see him already in performance this year. He did this, he did him and some other his peers did a performance for the back to school, which was very incredible. And uh, certainly they were both able to show off their their talents within right. their perspective areas. So we talked a little bit about the pep rally. I'm gonna let uh, Coach um, Coach Husky talk about some of the things we have going on uh, athletically also. Well, I don't want to forget about yesterday. Oh, yesterday yeah. was a big day for the Bombers. Our, our eighth and ninth grade football teams went to Bearville. Both of them won. Uh, we hosted the Junior, junior Bomber Relays. Uh, our girls come in third. Our boys come in first. And matter of fact, we had the overall winners in both of those. And the boys, it was 
Abraham Crawford, and then the girls that was Marcy, um, gosh, Cudworth, about forgot her name, and I coached with her dad. Um, and then a big volleyball game last night. Awesome crowd. Uh, volleyball team did a great job, beat Marion. Marion's one of the better teams in the state. Wow. So that, that was a huge win uh, for Coach Leonard and our girls' volleyball team, and I was very excited afterwards. Uh, and then, of course, now we're kicking off. Uh, academy kickoff day which i've been a part of of course i was an hhs teacher you know i'm one of those that likes things structured <laughs> i won't be able to see it um but having an academy kickoff day hooked up with uh pep rally and then uh, uh harrison game tonight's just a big big day and uh, a lot of things on schedule we are actually the ky3 game of the week uh, so they're going to be down here. Oh, good. Um, they do a good job up there. They do. They, top and, notch folks came you there. know, to have a Missouri station come down here and make a, two Arkansas <laughs> schools uh, the game of the week, that kind of tells you how big of a game this is. Um, but we're going to start that off at 620. Um, they're going to have a minute to win it with the uh, Mountain Home cheerleaders against the Harrison cheerleaders, which that should be fun to watch. <laughs> um, then we'll get in our – with having both bands perform at halftime tonight, that kind of cuts time a little short to do everything we want to do. So we're going to have the, our cheerleaders perform before the game. Mm -hmm. uh, and then at halftime, our dance team. And then, of course, uh, the Harrison band. Then we'll have a Mountain Home band right after that. But we're also having the Bomber Booster Club uh, kickoff event. They're going to be hosting a tailgate party starting at 530. It'll go from 530 to 7 um, to kind of feed the our members and if anybody wants to come join up um they'll feed them as well so a lot of big things going on today boy yeah sounds like a lot of fun it's busy um you know it just it's it's amazing whenever you talk about the number of um, the number of people and different agencies and organizations and community members students that have that that it that it takes to not just put on a football game or, mm -hmm. or, or go through it but but just to, for the education of the kids I, I we were speaking at rotary yesterday and and um and, and coach joyce and a couple players and, and and coach leonard they they did a fantastic job uh but <clears throat> it it everybody was bringing up you know somebody in the community that it, that had helped them out and, and and it's even with the academies the the number of mentors that we have that come into our schools um, the education, it, it really here, especially in Mount Home, it takes a, a whole group effort. Does, yeah. and, and we do, the community has done a fantastic job of supporting its schools. And I want to point out, uh, we'll get Dr. Long's opinion and then yeah. Uh, yeah. Coach Husky and then students. Do you see an extra amount of dedication from your, from your staff, from your teachers, from your instructors? Who, are they... Have you ever been a part of another school? No. No. Yes, <laughs> yes I have. Um, In comparison, don't you think that Mountain Home, well, I'm going to say the area schools here work harder? They do, um, I've, and I've never been a part of anything like the uh, career academies before. I actually came from school in a big city. We were K through 12, and it was, you're getting to school, you need, you need to get the kids to learn, and you're getting them out. Um, and there was not a lot of extracurricular. There weren't a lot of sports teams, and so it's really almost interesting to come to an area where everyone is so close knit. Hmm. And, and the academies create even a, a closer group than mm. just the regular student body, correct? Yes. Um, students, they, we, they all have their friends that they, they get along with, they hang out with on a regular basis, and then they may not be in the same academy. And so then you have the kids that move together and you have all these different types of people that are focused on one thing and one similar objective, and they can work together and get things done. It's really amazing. Yeah. The future of education, Dr. Long and students, do you think the old standard of going to the classroom at 8.15 in the morning and being in the classroom till 3.30 where you're just lecture after lecture in the book, is that going by the wayside? Will there be more hands-on activity? Now we've got computers, we've got laptops uh, or iPads, all, a lot more technology. You know, What's I, the future of education going to be? I think without without a doubt that that those days are gone, um, just because of the and, and technology is not just a game changer; it's a it's a life changer. I mean, it's been a life changer for all of us, 
and and we we need to do a better job with technology and ensuring that our students have got um, the appropriate learning tools and then also that we're providing the appropriate training for our teachers to utilize because it it's not just um, it, it's it's not just getting get, getting devices I mean it's utilizing it in a way in a whole learning and it's it's part of our life I mean I I I can't uh, I can't do my job with without what I have in my hand right here. <laughs> in fact, somebody <laughs> the other day I was at a school and and somebody made a comment and said you must be uh, you know doing most of your work from your phone because <laughs> because I'm out at the schools and, and, and that's true. So much of it does uh, um, it is a deal breaker. You know, somebody my age can see the difference in technology. I remember when the first vcrs came out now y'all probably have never even seen a vcr oh VCRs. we still use VCRs. <laughs> 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 yeah, but, it, it, yeah. You know, stuff that goes by the wayside i'm amazed at some of the technology and some of the things that my boys can do on a computer that okay how do you plug this thing in you know for me yeah yeah that's so, true I tell you I, what, go ahead Who's, i was just gonna i think yeah. with the increase in technology it becomes a lot easier for students to take their learning into into their own hands if they want mm. to so I think oh, part of point. education these days is really encouraging, you know, getting out and learning something for yourself as well as what you learn in the classroom. That's well, L- Lauren also talked about she she said she you had a you have an English class starting at 7 a.m. Uh, so, yes, so. in fact, uh, Mountain Home High School has really implemented uh, the virtual Arkansas um, online classes in a lot of the programs. Things that aren't even offered at the high school, um, like Spanish three and um, sort of computer programming and stuff like that. Uh, that they could take these online classes from teachers all over Arkansas um, wow. that uh, can help them get credits and help them get experience in what they'd like to do. Yeah. Hold that thought. Need to grab this break. Uh, more with the Mountain Public School System right after this. 7.50. I believe, Dr. Long, you had something you want to share. Yeah, you was talking about the the teachers of this area and of, the Mountain Home Public Schools, and so we we um, received a letter this week that I wanted to wanted to share. Um, it's it's addressed to one of our teachers at Mountain Home High School, and it's Dr. Bauk, and it says each academic year we ask students admitted to MIT to share with us the name of a teacher who has been especially influential in their development. It is a remarkable achievement and a great honor to change a life so we congratulate you on being named this year by John Novak and, and so um, we um, you know I I've never heard of a teacher getting a I never got one and, and I haven't heard of one especially of one getting it getting a letter from a college telling them about the influence that they've had and so certainly um, you know, this is, that this came is, from MIT. This came from MIT, and so our stu- our teachers, are making a difference in, in our students' lives. Um, yeah, we're super lucky to have such awesome teachers. You know, Mr. and Mrs. Bauk, or the Doctors Bauk, as some of us like to call them. <laughs> they are some of the best science teachers. You know, this side of the Mississippi, and they're they're, <laughs> they're just fantastic people, and I love their classes. My my favorite thing about having a lot of the teachers uh, at the high school. <clears throat> excuse me. Um, are some of the ones that the students would say are the best teachers, and then even the administration comes around and backs that up. They're the ones that could very well be doing something different, um, probably making a greater salary, but they have chosen to be teachers. And I think that's the best thing, because they really want their students to succeed. Yeah. Well, I appreciate both of you, uh, you know, share, sharing that perspective, and, um, you know, because our kids know. Kids know. Kids, kids will tell us, you know, how we're doing, what we need to do differently, and and um, so I appreciate the perspective that they bring to the table. It sounds like, um, how can I put this into words? Y'all are bringing a different perspective into education. You're making, you're making it, I don't want to use the word fun, but it's uh, more of a student-friendly. In other words, they, they, they feel like they're walking into something that they know is going to help rather yeah. than beat it in them. You know yeah. what I'm trying to say? Well, I think that, you know, and historically our schools have been you know the the presentation of information has been a lot more one way than what it is what what it has to be mm-hmm. um you know i i like to associate our schools with with business in the fact that you know our students these are our customers 
Mm -hmm. um, we've got some indirect customers out there that, you know, our business community expects us to produce, you know, you know, a workforce, the, a trained workforce. Our parents expect us to uh, educate the, their child. Uh, but so we have some indirect customers out there, but our true customers are our kids and, and our students. And we need to make sure that we're getting them what they need um, to go on and either go to college or go to work or, or whatever, whatever their intentions are. Well, I think the letter are. from MIT shows your success right yeah, there absolutely. in one aspect. And I think, you know, school used to be quite a bit more like a means to an end. You know, you went to school to get a degree, and you still do. You know, you still go to get the high school diploma. But now I think it's more, it's a lot more about the journey than the destination because it's really important to have fun along the way because, you know, they say the most, you know, getting there is half the fun. I think that's really been embraced by our school system. Yeah, they definitely have a lot of extra. I mean, there are some students that, I mean, they probably wouldn't be at school if it wasn't for the football team or if it wasn't for the band, if it wasn't for the uh, career programs that they have. Um, some of the extra, goodness, some of the extra like construction classes and stuff that they offer mm -hmm. because they're not just pushing kids toward college. They're they're giving them what they need, to do whatever they have an affinity for, whether it's going to the workforce or get a technical degree or go to college or whatever hmm. that is. And, you know, I, I've i been here since the, the first year that Mrs. Brown put in the career academies. And I say Mrs. Brown, there's a lot of people that were involved. And on a teacher's side, one of the best things that I got from it, um, I didn't know very many of the teachers at the school. But then when you're sitting there and you're having to go into academy meetings, you're doing the integrated projects and having to get, kind of understand what's going on in other teachers' classrooms, you get to know teachers personally uh, it's just like not another teacher you know i actually got a lot more friends out of it and you know it's kind of bad to say that i was teaching at the high school and i didn't know a lot of the teachers hmm. uh, but what it did it opened up uh, a path where i could get to know those teachers and then a lot more learning comes along with that we're down about the final 30 seconds everybody uh, final thoughts dr long uh just first of all want to thank students like we have have here today that's willing to come out and and help us <clears throat> you know, tell our story, and and um, and we th this is th these are two. I mean, uh, fantastic students, but there are many many others out there that I I'm just astound astounded by. Whenever I go to our schools, and the you know you stick out your hand and they shake your hand and say good morning, sir, and yes, sir, and and oh, wow. um, and, and I mean it's just it's just it's. It, it truly is. We, we have great kids that do a great job. We have great teachers that do a fantastic job. And so just thank you to all of them. Thank you, Dr. Long, Coach Husky, and students for being here. That wraps it up. Don't forget uh, pre-orders for Boston uh, Butts at uh, Pineville Volunteer Fire Department. Call 870-373-1202. Help support Pineville Volunteer Fire Department. $30 for one, two for 50. That wraps it up. We'll see you on Monday. Have a great weekend, everybody.